Where did fear originate? Fear is a funny one. Fear was originated with, oddly enough, the first seedlings on the planet. You know, there was one stream of consciousness coming right through this beautiful planetary matrix. Their ones were playing together, stepping in and out of the body principle, not based in numerical order. They were stepping in, stepping out, having a blast. There was no density at all. There wasn't all this infanthood, toddlerhood, in the wombhood. You'd be hatched onto the planet. You'd pop in, pop out. You're having a blast, right? Now, this is where fear came in. Wow. You have this and that. and You know what? You have more than I do. Do you know what I'm going to do? I see you have more than I do. And I'm thinking, I should have mine and yours. Sounds like a prenuptial. Now from here, as I want mine and yours, it could be your home. It could be your toys. It, at this point, it was your land and your animals and your bride and blah, blah, blah. I am going to take it. Meow. With or without your consent. Technically, your consent didn't matter because at that point, I just had to overcome you. Which meant power of the fittest. Now, that was all fine and good. That was also the beginning of karma, by the way. So I'm going to take what's mine and yours. Because now I created an, an analytical mind that more is good, less is bad. I started creating all these perceptions of dominance. At first, nothing bad and nothing good about it. It was just a thought. Until the actions started taking place. Then what happened was I got yours and mine. I didn't know. You know, that was pretty good. I got your home, your toys, your sheep. You know, basically your livelihood. And then whew, I went on to the next year, brother. And then from there, what happened was they saw me coming and they automatically urge, went into withdrawal mode because they became into this beautiful state called survival. And when they went into survival due to not knowing what was going to occur, what happened, they started to pull back. And this began creating a chain reaction globally. Your brother's becoming afraid of your brothers. Now, it was a game of dominance. Survival of the fittest, blah, blah, blah. And then they withdrew, like I was sharing with a little bit ago, the scent. The scent that's excreted from the physicality hyperadrenal, so forth and so forth. But regardless, there's a stench that excretes from your body. And what's we'll called it makes you prey of fear. That's what happens in the animal kingdom as well. Whether it be gazelles, whether it be wildebeest, whether it be deers, that scent excretes and they become prey. Which, of course, let's see at larger animals, locate them for sustenance. Now from here... Descent, orically and physically, started to arise, and they became vulnerable, weak. Because, you know, when the scent starts to come out, you start to automatically lose your strength. And then from there, they became prey. Not even physical danger. Just pray to the physical. But you see, then, now that I have him afraid, he's pulling back, not knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. Playing a lot was what we were playing a little bit ago. Past, present, and future. He saw what, I, what happened to Uncle Charlie. And he's saying, oh my goodness, I don't want that to happen to me. So he went into withdrawal mode, and that was the origination of fear. 
Fear started cranking up in the adrenals. Fear started growing and all the what ifs started playing out. Uncomfortability started happening. And then the next perception is pain is bad, comfort is good, the point of life is being disturbed started. The first three perceptions in a body on a planet. Pain is bad, comfort is good, which means whew, I just want to be over here and be left alone. Point of life is being disturbed, which means I just want everything status quo. Hence is the wheel of karma. Hence is fear being seeded into a planetary matrix. Now the only difference is how much is grown. 